Hi, it's Maggie the Irish Gypsy here to bring you your October 2021 general readings. We are looking at the first two weeks of October and this reading is for the air sign of Aquarius. Welcome everyone. I hope you're all doing well as I always do and thanks for being here for taking the time to watch any of the videos on my YouTube channel. Like, share, subscribing, reaching out for personal readings, your comments, donations. Thank you so much. So this reading is for Aquarius for the first two weeks of October 2021. That's if your sun, moon, rising, or Venus sign is an Aquarius. It's also relevant if you're cross-watching for an Aquarian. Of course, it's a general reading. It's going to resonate a little differently for everyone. So watch all of your signs for any additional insight they may provide. And if you find that the reading does resonate with you and you'd like to reach out for a personal reading, take a deeper look at something for yourself or as a gift for someone else, you can click on the description link below to uh, see contact information. You'll see my email address there, Maggie, the number one McGuire at gmail.com. Feel free to email me directly. I'd be delighted to hear from you. I can usually respond within the same day with more information. I do offer a wide variety of readings and I do readings full time. So I'm pretty diligent about timely scheduling. So message me if you'd like. Okay, Aquarius, <coughs> let's see what the first two weeks of October look like for you. I am using the Tarot of Dreams, clarifying with the Gilded Tarot Royale. Okay, Aquarius, we begin with the Seven of Swords, something being concealed, and the Two of Swords. Hmm. We have the Wheel of Fortune, followed by the Ace of Swords. This looks like not wanting to look at something that you know about, but you don't really want to look at it, and Spirit sort of does something or allows something to happen in a way that you do see it. You have to see it. The Tower, unexpected changes, endings, with the Knight of Wands, the Knight of Fire happening very quickly. From the bottom of the deck, the overall energy for the first half of October is the King of Coins, King of Earth, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn, Sun, Moon, or Rising. This is not you. This is somebody who is relevant or significant somehow in the first two weeks of October for you. This looks like somebody not wanting to see the truth of something or not wanting to acknowledge the truth of, some, of something or trying to keep something hidden. But spirit either orchestrates or allows it to come to the light anyway um, because something needs to end so that something can change. So let's clarify the King of Coins. Four of Wands, Happy Home, Marriage, the Hierophant Convention, Tradition, the Establishment, the Seven of Wands, Defensive, Guarding, Protecting that which you have a lot invested in. So this is one of two things because it's a general reading. It might be one way for some and another way for others. But this King of Coins is showing up as an actual specific individual who either wants to hold on to something they've invested a lot into, which looks like a marriage here or you're wanting to hold on to what you've built with this person, which again feels like a marriage. I mean, the Four of Wands and the Hierophant, these are both cards of conventional institutional energy, but the Four of Wands is about home and family and marriage. So somebody definitely wants to hold on to either, either this person, because this feels like a relationship reading straight up. It's like, but for some of you, it might be holding on to something perhaps in the material life because of how it benefits your home and family. But for most of you, I feel like this this feels like might even be a third party situation, although I'm not seeing that here yet. Holding on to a long term relationship or marriage, somebody doesn't want to let go. Either you don't want to let go of what you have with this king of coins or he doesn't want to let go of what he has with you, this long term relationship or marriage. Clarify the Seven of Swords. The 
the two of pentacles a choice death endings transformations we have death in the tower here both and strength the strength to make the choice to end something but being concealed it, it kind of feels like clarify the two of swords somebody saying somebody making plans even though they might not be talking about them or maybe you, there, it has been talked about but making plans to to leave to end a long-term relationship a long-term marriage clarify the two of swords the tower again the ten of cups and the fool this is ending a long to this is breaking up a home uh, ending a long-term marriage a relationship um, in order to step off the beaten path and do something new take a risk leave whether it's for another person or for some other reason this is like but again keeping it all undercover but the fact that somebody wants to hold on to it might mean that It could be that you suspect your partner of doing this and you're trying to find out. It might be that your partner suspects you of doing this and is trying to find out. It may be that this has come out and you guys have talked about it and somebody's just go ahead, going ahead and making plans or making these decisions but keeping it undercover. But it doesn't look like it stays undercover for very long. Clarify the Wheel of Fortune. Actually, I'm not going to clarify the Wheel of Fortune or the Ace of Swords because it's quite clear here that the Wheel of Fortune is divine timing and orchestration, Aquarius. So either this is orchestrated by God's spirit, angels and guides, or it's coming and they allow it to happen. The Ace of Swords, the epiphany, the truth coming out. So let's clarify the Tower. It might be that, you know, one person has done something the other person doesn't like or one person has cheated, but they don't want the marriage or the relationship to end. And, but again, it feels like it's happening anyway. Clarify the tower. And we have the tower twice. We have death. The page of swords messages sometimes getting information or sometimes a page of swords is considered the the spy of the tarot the queen of pentacles so here's the king of pentacles mate the five of swords wing it winning at all cost it's like somebody again ending a long-term relationship contract marriage because they want what they want at all costs Either they want some other situation, which might be just to be free, or another person. Clarify the Knight of Wands. And that other person might be a fire sign. Clarify the Knight of Wands. And like this all comes out, and it looks like somebody, it all comes apart. And somebody maybe leaves quite quickly. Challenging. The Seven of Swords again. The Nine of Cups. And the Two of Cups. It feels like a third party situation for a lot of you. This is like somebody leaving in order to have their wish fulfillment with someone they feel is their soulmate. But there's also a, I mean, there's also a long-term relationship or marriage here that is at risk of just completely ending and completely blowing up. Now, it depends on which side of the story you're on. This can play out, of course, in a variety of different ways with different roles, you know, in a general reading. There's a long-term relationship, marriage, home at risk here. It looks like somebody is doing something undercover you know, and the news or information comes to light. It feels like a third party situation and somebody leaves because they feel this other person is their person and they just have to have them and that's their wish fulfillment. They, they want to go for it, you know. They might be saying, you know, this is my chance to have, you know, the kind of life, the kind of relationship that I want and I, I have to take this chance. That's what it feels like. And it's very challenging reading, you know. 
Um, and because it's a general reading, I mean, it, it, you know, you might be the one leaving for someone else or, you know, your partner might be the one leaving for someone else. I mean, it really depends on, but, but that's the fundamental essence of the reading, which never varies no matter what role um, you're playing in this. So challenging in a short period of time here too, because we're only looking at the first two weeks of, of October. But these things never, you know, they might happen quite quickly, what comes to a head, but there's always lots of history leading up to this. It might not be a third party situation, it might be somebody just leaving to have a completely different life. And they're saying, you know, this is my one shot to have everything that I want. And they want it, it feels like somebody wants it at all costs, no matter what. And the other person in the long-term relationship or marriage is saying, I don't want to let go of this. I don't want this to be over. <sighs> Challenging. Whether it's a third-party situation, whatever has been done undercover is coming to light and it causes, you know, some potentially very significant life-changing um, events to play out here. So I'm going to just kind of leave it there and end with advice and guidance, advice and guidance for Aquarius for the first two weeks of October. Not one of those rainbow readings. The Seven of Pentacles the king of pentacles and judgment the advice is to think very carefully about what you have invested with this person before you make a significant life-changing decision which some of you may or may not take this advice but that's what this is saying i mean the seven of pentacles is taking stock taking inventory looking at what you have invested in something what you have to show for it the King of Pentacles, which is the same as the King of Coins, is here again as well. And then Judgment is that 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 pivotal life crossroads. You make one decision and or you make another decision, but the results and the consequences will be final, permanent, long lasting, right? So if you decide to stay, then you know that's probably the path that you're gonna be on for a long time if not permanently but if you decide to leave or whichever role you're playing whichever side you're in in this um, that's a game changer as well because judgment represents needing to make a choice that's going to if, if you make a like if you choose to leave um, you, you're probably this probably isn't going to you're not going to go back you know so this is about taking careful stock and inventory of what you have invested and what you have to lose before you make a, you know, a life-changing decision here. And it looks like taking stock and inventory of what you have built with another person, whether that's love or relationship or something else. But it feels like you know, marriage, long-term relationship kind of energy here. So I will leave it there. Aquarius, those are your messages for uh, the first two weeks of October. I hope they were helpful. This, like I say sometimes with challenging readings, this is not one of those readings I can say, I hope you enjoyed this reading because it looks painful, it looks challenging, you know. Um, but I hope that it was helpful. I hope it gave you some food for thought or validated something you were already thinking. Uh, in that sense, if it did and you'd like to reach out for a personal reading, maybe take a deeper look at something for yourself or as a gift for someone else, uh, email me directly at maggie, the number one mcguire at gmail.com. I'd be delighted to work with you. Uh, you can also get that contact info by clicking on the description link below. I will see you all in a couple of weeks for the October mid-month readings. Take care until then, and I hope to see you back here again soon. Bye-bye.